Hello everyone, in this video let us uh, learn how to fetch the list of users using uh, Scriptrina for Jira. Today I want to do something uh, very simple but it will really help you if you are uh, trying to learn Scriptrina for Jira. And uh, today I want to basically show you how to get the list of uh, all the users in your Jira instance. Now, in my Jira instance, I have uh, four users that uh, are there in uh, the user management section, which I can of course take a look at from the UI. And uh, for fetching the list of users, there are a few ways. Uh, you might be uh, familiar with uh, this uh, small script that you can find uh, online and right now this script is of course one way of doing it but we'll also take a look at uh, uh, another way so in this particular script i have component accessor and i'm using one uh, method called get user manager and uh, based on uh, the user manager you can then further use one uh, function method called get user now this script works really well so if you look at, uh, let us say, user manager, you have a lot of different things that you can do with uh, the user. So you may have uh, to use this method called as get all users. So this will basically return or give you the list of all the users uh, um, in your instance. But apart from all the users, you may want to fetch just one user, like using get user, where you can pass the uh, username which is the string parameter here but the problem here is that this particular method is uh, depre uh, deprecated i mean i mean if you look if you go to the uh, java jira java docs uh, you will find uh, more information about uh, this method you can still use it but maybe in future you might not be able to use it so we have to figure out a way to uh, do it in a different way now i have one uh, script that I want to show you. It is not really a script, just few lines of code. So there is another way of fetching the list of users using a get user service manager. Now we have to use uh, this user, user search, not service manager, but user search service. And uh, using the user search service, you can uh, use a function called as find users. Uh, you have a lot of, lot of functions that you can use. For example, if you want to fetch the list of, uh, uh, maybe maybe you want to find uh, the users by uh, their email address or maybe by their name, you have different methods that you can use. But for, for, for this example, we will simply use uh, uh, this uh, method called as find users allow empty query. Now, there are two parameters. One is a Jira service context, and a Jira service context is basically, uh, uh, I mean, you need a context based on the currently logged in user that is uh, right now the administrator of this Jira instance, uh, the person who is, uh, or the user who is uh, running the script. And the second query is, uh, is basically, you can leave it empty or you can have maybe the username. So maybe if I want to type in here uh, admin, so it will only give me the um, details of this particular user uh, where the username is admin. And if I search, if I run this particular uh, script, if I go to my uh, script console, I'm using this uh, script here, which is uh, of course on uh, the server where I am saving the script. I can also, you know, just go to the tab called script and uh, paste the same script, but I want to basically use IntelliJ to manage my code. That is why I'm using this. So if I search for the username admin, I can of course fetch the username, which is nothing uh, great, but I can then do something like uh, maybe email address. So if I want to fetch the email address of this particular user, I can do that. And uh, this is all good, but I basically want to fetch the list of all the users 
and I can leave this uh, query as blank. So I don't really want to pass any username. And if I try to run the query again, run the script again, I can now fetch the list of all the email addresses of my uh, Jira users. So this is just one way of uh, fetching the list of users. And of course, when you are able to uh, get the service context, Jira service context based on the currently logged in user who is currently, of course, uh, running the script and you're using, using the user service, user search service, uh, you have different functions available, different methods available for you to use uh, whenever you want to do something with the users. And uh, based on this, you can do a lot of other things. Maybe you want to find uh, if the user is active or if the user is uh, not active. Uh, and let me check all the different methods or different things that I can do further with the with the user. So I can fetch the username, I can fetch uh, uh, the email address, and uh, uh, we can also find out the directory uh, ID, or uh, maybe we want to fetch, uh, what else? We, we, we can actually do a lot of things that are specific to this particular method, but uh, this is of course one way of doing it. We have few other ways of uh, doing the same thing. Uh, we can also query the uh, the LDAP, if that is what you want to do. Uh, some, you know, in some cases, you may want to also uh, see whether the usernames are, uh, I mean, you may create a user uh, internally in Jira, but for some migration activities, or maybe you want to do the renaming because maybe you are switching to LDAP. So using these, you know, few simple things that you can do with user, and uh, if you want, you can also write a script to query the LDAP to maybe you know do some cross checking so what i want to do when I, what i'm planning to do is i'm trying to uh, create these uh, short videos on doing these simple things but of course uh, it will give you a really good idea about uh, how to do these simple things with the uh, users directories maybe you want to perform cleanup in your instance based on uh, whether the user is active or maybe you want to get a list of all the users who have not accessed your jira instance or who have not done any work or any activity in Jira, maybe in the past six months or one year. So do uh, uh, let me know if you have any suge suggestions, but I will be creating more videos on similar topics. And this is all I wanted to share in this video. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today. Thank you very much.